What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at how you can get a sweet, heavy, exotic bow here in the season of the Undying. This is called Leviathan's Breath and in this video today we break down the entire quest so you can get your hands on this weapon as soon as possible, as soon as it's released. But if you enjoy the video be sure to leave a rating down below that super helps me out here on the channel and if you're brand new here and want to keep up to date with all the latest destiny 2 content then be sure to hit subscribe as well but without further delay guys let's jump into the video now this quest is a seven step quest all in all from start to finish and it kicks off with the back way and this is where banshee 44 wants to give us a weapon which is stored in his workshop but he didn't specify how to get inside so we have to locate the hidden entrance to the workshop and find the weapon itself. The second step here is called where are the keys sir and this is where we have found the bow in the display cabinet as you can see here which means this has to be Banshee's workshop but the problem is the case is locked so we have to return to Banshee to complain politely of course and this is where he'll give us the next step which is called intro to safe cracking 101. Now for this step we'll need a rotating key card which has access to the bow in Banshee's workshop but the original itself has been lost. We'll need to generate a new code following the same steps that Banshee did. First on Banshee's list is to get out into the field to seed a new key generator with combat data. So we have to seed data for the new key card by completing either Gambit matches or Vanguard strikes. Gambit Prime matches and Nightfall strikes grant the most efficient progress. And we have to generate a hundred pieces of data for this particular step. Now upon completing that we'll go on to step four which is called Advanced Safe Cracking 201. So the key generator is seeded with viable combat data and it's now outputting key codes. But to constrain the possible set of generated codes, Go says that we'll need to provide the generator with more target data, literally, to narrow the search. So we have to use a bow to land precision final blows either against Vex or Cabal. And we need to generate an additional 75 pieces of data. And that brings us nicely onto step 5 which is called Economics of War. So the key generator needs a little bit more data before it's ready to return to Banshee for the final authentication. To firmer limit the possible codes the generator can generate, we'll need to recreate the conditions under which Banshee programmed the first codes, which is fighting Red Legion forces during the Red War. So we'll need to complete an epic reprise of the strike the arms dealer in the European dead zone on Earth. So we need to select that from the director, jump in and complete the strike. Once completing that, we'll be on to step six, which is applied crypto security. So we've completed all the necessary calibrations for the key generator. The only thing remaining is a biometric authentication from Banshee himself. And with this step, we'll just need to return to Banshee in a tower. And once here, this brings us onto the final step, which is called Martial Archery 401. We'll simply need to return to Banshee's workshop and claim the bow from the case. And there we have it. That is all seven steps to the Leviathan's Breath exotic bow quest. It's the only heavy exotic bow in Destiny 2 and that's everything you need to know in how to get your hands on it. In terms of the weapon itself, its exotic intrinsic perk is Big Game Hunter which fires a massive heavy bolt that staggers unshielded enemy combatants which is strong against unstoppable champions. It also has an additional perk called Leviathan's Sigh which is when the bow is fully drawn, the bolt creates a large blast that knocks enemies back. So it looks like it's going to be a quite an interesting weapon, especially when we get to later level strikes and nightfalls. Being able to push back unsured combatants and unstoppable champions will be a huge benefit in the harder activities. So there we have it guys. That is how you get a Leviathan's Breath. I hope you have enjoyed the video. As I said, if you have, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're brand new here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.